The play verticals out of the gun trips tight end formation in the New England Patriots playbook is one of the best man beaters and zone beaters in Madden 24. I'm going to show you how to run it in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to do so. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks while your membership is active. Now, for setup, this is a 100% a quick snap play. We want to snap the ball as fast as possible. And there's really two ways to run verticals, in my opinion. It's to utilize the running back on an out route or an in route. So here we're going to just put him on an in route, snap the ball. And one of the routes we're looking for here, we're actually going to take off or just scramble. Sometimes these man, man routes, uh, what you'll see here, a lot of people like right now, they want to play basically a two-man under, uh, whether it be out of dollar or three, three, three cub. And what you'll see with this play in, in terms of how this works is this uh, triangle streak is really, really good at getting up the seam against two man under, as you can see right there. So we have a really good chance to beat press man over the top in the middle of the field against two men under. So they have to have some type of safety protection. Now, when they have safety protection, the other thing you're going to see that becomes a possibility is this outside receiver on the fade if they don't have a deep half over on that side, as you can see right there. That outside receiver can get separation specifically against a two-man under uh, style of defense or any really any press defense, whether it be one robber or uh, two-man under. Now, the other way you can set this up is you can put your running back on this old Texas route. This is one of the best man beating routes in the game. Franco Harris, I think, is a must-have on your Mutt team right now because he does get the running back apprentice ability. If you don't have running back apprentice, then what you can easily just do with this is put him on an in route, and I'll show you the in route here. The in route is not as consistent as the angle route and doesn't get as good of separation, but the other route that's really good on this play, and I threw it a little bit late there, is this tight end, this sharp cutting corner route to the tight end. So the sharp cutting corner route to the tight end, what you're going to see here is oftentimes this tight end corner, when he cuts to the sideline, is just going to get this really glitchy separation. I actually had two guys in main coverage on him, and that sharp cut is what really allows us to get open. Now, when you're playing mutt, what I would really recommend is you want to have as many people on your field that have 85 medium and 85 deep route running. If you want to prioritize one or the other, prioritize the deep route running. But this tight end corner is really good. I haven't really ever thrown a pick on it because of the way you throw it when you freeform it to the sideline like that, it's going to make it a little bit better uh, just in terms of its ability to beat man coverage. So now you see here, we're going to roll a deep half defender over the middle, and then we're going to roll a deep half defender or a deep defender over the top. And then what that's going to do is it's going to potentially leave this crosser. Now, this crosser, this is where the 85 uh, route running is actually really, really important. What you'll see with this crosser is typically he will get some separation over the middle of the field. This is where we're creating kind of this angle route and crosser or slant post concept. And then we're also utilizing this running back. But here you see crosser beats man. We just throw it just like that. And now they have to have basically what, what's interesting about verticals from trips tied in is they have to have a lot of resources uh, to be able to stop this. For example, they have to have a deep half over here to stop the fade. They have to have a deep middle defender to stop the, uh, the vertical streak. And then they themselves have to use her up the skinny to take the cross, which leaves this two-man interaction between the tight end and the running back on the in route. So you see there, and then if everything breaks down, obviously you can just run with your quarterback right at the seam. Now, the play where what's, what's also really cool about verticals is it's actually really good against zone. Um, it's actually better against zone than it is against man. So what you're going to see against zone coverage, the first read on this against zone is we really want to try to hit this triangle route right up the seam just like that. That middle trips receiver in the seam is the best zone beater in the game against cover four. It is the best zone beater in the game against cover three. Here's cover three. And these are both going to be hard flatted. And you'll see, boom, easy read, easy money. Now, I want to show you this also against cover two. So cover two is going to do a little better of a job because of this vertical hook. Uh, but I do want you to watch how this plays. So what you'll see with this is you can actually throw this up the seam right in that window against cover two. And now we've really got them in a lot of challenge uh, in terms of how they're going to be able to fit this play. 
Another really cool feature uh, as far as how this works against cover two is if they're rolling their coverage and they're creating a, a defense that looks like this, if it's a deep half defender on the outside, typically what's going to happen is you're going to be able to hit this fade um, and it actually got absolutely crazy shedded there. Um, I'm going to actually spy the line just so I don't get shedded here because I want to show you this fade route. And again, the sheds are just absolutely overpowered in uh, practice mode. So that's kind of why. But let's take a look at this fade against like cover two drop. So you'll see here, he's going to get this outside separation. We're just going to freeform this to the sideline. That safety has to respect that seam route. And then this fade can come open on the deep sideline just like that. So that's also a really valuable uh, piece of this play. The last thing I want to show you is against cover three. So cover three, another interesting feature about this defense is let's say they go to the left and they try to use her that stuff. This deep crosser to James will actually pull the third defender and you'll be able to throw that tight end route on the corner just like that. So you have really simple reads out of vertical. It's really one of the best, truly is one of the best plays in the game. And the last little thing about this play is you do have your running back out of the backfield. If they're not playing hard flats, just take your running back and take the easy yards that the defense gives you. Verticals breaks down every single defense. We teach this offense in detail in our Trips Tied In Offensive eBook. If you want to sign up for the Patreon today, it's only $10 to do so. It's going to get you access to over 15 Madden 24 offensive and defensive eBooks. And as long as you're a member, you'll get access to all of our updates for those eBooks as the game continues to change throughout the year. So make sure that you sign up for the Patreon today. You can do that by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.